Yo, God is not a respecter of persons. This means that God does not show favoritism or partiality, family, to no one. Even you so-called little gods out there and goddesses, no, not even to you, because there's only one true God. In other words, family, the free gift of the gospel of Jesus Christ is available to all Jews, all Gentiles alike. You, there's so many scriptures that you can read. So when you see the division, the conquer and divide that's working in today's times, especially in America, just know that your skin color, your race is not something that God is looking at. He's looking at your heart. He's looking at your soul. He's not looking at the skin color. There's not a black heaven. There's not a white heaven. There's a heaven of the kingdom of God, which is all beautiful colors, family. Just as my little... I found this today, family, at my coffee pot this morning. Me and my little girl still love to color. It's such a good release for stress. Um, but she, yeah, found this this morning, so made me smile. And I just noticed all the beautiful colors in it. And that's kind of how the kingdom of God is going to be. It's going to have every beautiful color you could ever imagine of, of people. But he, but God is not a respecter or shows favoritism or partiality to any skin color. All souls matter to the Most High God family. All souls. Don't ever let anybody walk in this earth tell you different. Nobody. There is nobody... No, no race is greater than the other race. Um, some of the scriptures you can check out is Acts 10, verses 34 through 35, Romans 2, 11 through 16, Ephesians 6, 9, Galatians 3, 28, and even in the book of James chapter 2, yes, 9 through 13. Read it. This means that God, you know, family... If that's the way God looked at things, then none of us would have a chance. That's why Christ was sent for us. Because us humans, we will fight and argue and divide over anything. Yes, even skin color. And it's been going on for a long, long, long time. But God's going to put an end to that someday. And you want to be a part of that colorful kingdom of God. Because it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Every every skin tone you can ever imagine is going to be there. The ones that follow the true Christ, not the fake Christ. Not the one that brings discord to the brethren. Not the one that brings division. No. Not the one, the accuser of the brethren. Anybody that says otherwise, they've been deceived and led astray. Even the book of Colossians, family, you can see it. In chapter 3 verse 25 but I want to start at verse 22 servants obey in all things your masters according to the flesh not with eye service as men pleaser men pleasers but in singleness of heart fearing God and who and whatsoever ye do do it hardly as to the Lord and not unto men knowing that of up the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance we get our inheritance, family. We get our blessings, not from our dead ancestors, which the dead know nothing. Um, that's a whole nother subject, but we get our inheritance, our salvation from Christ and Christ alone. But anyway, let me continue. That was verse, verse 24. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons. So you can see in verse 25 where he's telling you, you know, either either you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and family, it don't matter how you spell Jesus. I mean, people nowadays bring in discord and division to the brethren is something else. And it's not biblical what these people are doing and what they're talking about. You've got to be able to have discernment in these times. There are so many people claiming to be of God and claiming to be of the light, and they are of the Antichrist. They're of the false light family. Just as God has his, so does Satan. And what does Satan do? He disguises himself as a false light, as a false Christ. So what are they going to do? Even the Word of God tells us they're going to do the same thing. 
anybody that's messing with any sort of stuff that's not biblical or they're even trying to use the Bible. I've seen people do this numerous times using scripture to justify sin or to justify an abomination that they're living in. One day we are all going to stand before a holy, pure God. All of us. It's going to be a very real thing. And a lot of people that claim they are of the light are going to be snuffed out in a moment. I hope that we all see each other in this colorful kingdom of God that he is preparing for the true followers of Christ. And to my brothers and sisters out there, please stand bold. You're going to be tested. Don't forget that. You're going to be tried and tested. Your faith. And it's going to be not just by non-believers. It's going to be by, you know, lukewarms. People that are not fully living for Christ. They're going to let anything and everything divide them. The only one that does the division and divides with the sword is the Lord Jesus alone. We're to love each other. We don't look, you know, at skin color. We, we, we don't focus on that. We're to focus on the kingdom of God. And if you think for a hot minute there ain't going to be white people or black people or brown people or red people or just... There's going to be beautiful people walking around in the kingdom of God that have pure hearts of Christ. That repented of their sins, that turned away, that had a changing, that had a renewing of the heart. God is not a respect of persons and he can see imposters. He's not, he's holy, he's pure. He's all-knowing. These people try to tell you they're all-knowing, they're liars. And if they have hate in their heart for a fellow brother or sister, then they're a liar and the truth's not in them anyway. Test the spirits, family. But just know that everything that is going on in today's time, God's paying a close attention to our hearts on these matters. All souls matter to the Lord. All souls matter. I love you guys. Have a blessed weekend. Later.